Space, the final frontier. This is the story of the starship Starbuster. <laughs> Hello guys and guten Tag to episode 3 and most likely the last episode of my Mod Spotlight for advanced rocketry for Minecraft 1.10.2. Hello, how are you doing? So, we are up at the space station we built in part 2 of the Mod Spotlight with the additions we made so far namely the docking pad, the landing platform for our rocket. And I will try to stop the rotation uh, so we can actually enjoy daylight a little bit longer. It's just brighter out here that way. Good. So um, what we want to do this time, as I mentioned last time, we want to transform this space station into an actual spaceship, into a starship and travel to distant planets and even different solar um, systems. So, for that matter, we want to uh, build another uh, addition to the space station out here. And additionally to what I said in the last episode about additional modules for space stations, I want to... Um, I want to point out that it is relatively important that you keep the directions straight. So in this case, we are looking east, as you know, because I show you the debugging screen in the top left corner, you can see facing east. And we want to install a space station docking port over here, like we did last time. And when we now build the counterpart, down on Earth, we must face it in um, in the direction that it will actually um, connect to this one. So we place this here facing west. And because we want to have the platform facing outside that way, we have to place it on the addition facing east and give it the correct ID, in this case 2. Place again a satellite bay and the correct space station ID chip into the space station builder and build the station. Place the space station container in another carrier rocket and launch it into space. And back on the space station we made sure that the addition is connected in the right direction. Now it's time again for our trusty holo projector. Choose warp core and place the hologram wherever you want to install the warp core Build the warp core, nice. And fill the input hatch on top of the warp core with the lithium crystals. The lithium crystals are the fuel for the warp core, just like in Star Trek. Now we just need to place a warp controller. The warp controller doesn't need any connection to the warp controller itself. It connects automatically and it doesn't need energy as well. When we now click on the warp controller, we have plenty of new options. First of all, we can select a new planet we want to go to. If we click select planet, planet, we will always end up in the current solar system we are actually in. In this case, we are orbiting Earth right here with this one moon. You can see we have plenty other planets, in this case with moon or with three moons or completely without any moons like this one. Over here is a gas giant. Gas giant can't be visited. They are used for um, energy production. I will come to that later. All we have to do now is choose a planet. I will choose this one here. Select it. And now you can see the destination is Sol 17 with a fuel cost of 101. Clicking on warp will actually engage the warp drive. And after a neat animation, you will arrive at your new planet. You can visit the planets you are orbiting around just by using your rocket. Just place the uh, space station ID chip of your current space station into the guidance computer of the rocket. Hop in and you can see destination Sol 17 and launch into space. Other planets are uniquely generated like for example like this here with a giant media crater. 
Also, know that you don't have to rely on the rockets to go to the actual planets. Once you visit them, you can actually place any sort of teleporter mod uh, and go from there. One last thing, by actually going further up when you select a destination, you can see the different solar systems that are currently available. Right now there are five? I thought it was just four. So I think it is five then. So we have, uh, for example, this here with 12 additional planets around a red sun. Very nice. Also note that travel to different solar systems is way more expensive in terms of fuel cost. To end episode 3, I want to quickly cover all the items we have not discussed so far. The first thing is the microwave receiver. By installing um, solar panels on satellites, you are able to um, collect energy on the satellites and bring it through a microwave receiver back to Earth. Um, the second one, the biome scanner. With the biome scanner, you can scan source biomes and change destination biomes to that scanned biome. The atmosphere filter, formerly known as, um, as Terraformer, is able to change the atmospheric pressure on a planet at the cost of a lot of energy and nitrogen. The railgun is a, um, a form of item transportation to space stations, to moons and even other planets at a high energy cost. The orbital laser drill is exactly what it sounds like. It is used for mining on planets from a space station. And the unmanned vehicle assembler, which is actually used on a space station, not on Earth, on a space station to build drones that are used for gas mining missions to collect huge amounts of nitrogen, oxygen and hydrogen. Those are all things that are not really essential to the mod itself and I will maybe cover them later in an additional part 4. But this is it for the mod spotlight for advanced rocketry. I hope you like the mod as much as I do. If so, let the mod author know that you do so. I am pretty sure he will like to hear that a lot. And we will see us again in the next one. Take care of yourself, guys, and rock on.